So there's this hedge in my backyard. Or at least I thought it was a hedge. And when you look in the backyard in my house, you see just a, a wall of greenery. And when you glance at it, you don't really think much about it. it looks like a bush that's been trimmed to keep uh, the separation between uh, my house and the street. But when you get up close, and if you find the right spot, you can see it's not a hedge, it's a wall. It's a, a wall that has been built there and, and living things, good things, have grown over that wall to where you don't really see the wall anymore. You see something else. And it made me think about the fact that oftentimes our lives can be like that, right? That who we are on the inside, deep down, can be masked by all kinds of both good and bad things. That our lives, our identities can, can be um, wrapped up and covered over by other things. What's been interesting about the pandemic is that a lot of the things that cover over our lives, a lot of the things that take up uh, a lot of our mind and that are visible by other people have been stripped away. And though that can be painful, it can also be an opportunity. Because there are some times that, that the things covering over our, our lives are really who we are. They're an expression of our purpose, like a a vine growing on a trellis, the trellis that was built to support that vine. But sometimes the things that have been covering over our lives are not who we are, are not in line with our identity and our purpose. And, and we could do with a little bit of stripping back. The Bible talks over and over again about how our identity flows from the person that we are and from our relationship with God. And so in this season, in this stripping back time, take a moment to, to look underneath. Take a moment to look inside and say, are, are all of these things that, that people think of as me, are they really me? Are they really who God has created me to be in the world? Or is it time to let go of those things and begin walking into a, a new part of my life, uh, living more fully into my identity, who I am? May this week be a week of discovery for you.